So, you finally found a video that will peel back the curtains of the world's most exclusive schools in a brutally honest manner. You want to peer into hallowed halls brimming with the children of old money families that have been rich for centuries. From the Tudor-styled charm of Harry Potter's Hogwarts to the elite academia of the Dead Poets Society, a fascination with these historic institutions has permeated pop culture, and now it has reached you. But what makes these schools so coveted and so exclusive? What secrets lie behind their grand gates? In today's video at Old Money Luxury, we'll answer those questions and more, providing you with a step-by-step -step analysis on why old money families send their children to the world's most elite private schools, how they navigate the chillingly rigorous admissions processes, and towards the end, we'll give you a list of the top seven schools you'll want to send your next in line to if you plan on making them a future prime minister, president, or eccentric billionaire. For, as F. Scott Fitzgerald famously wrote in The Great Gatsby, let me tell you about the very rich. They are different from you and me. So, let's dive into this world together and discover just how different it really is. In the realm of old money, education isn't just about hitting the books. It's a cultural journey, a rite of passage, and a social grooming ground. These institutions aren't just schools, they're cauldrons of a way of life that's been passed down through generations, like an heirloom Patek Philippe watch. But what makes these schools so exclusive and crucial for old money families in particular, you might wonder? It's a complex blend, a cocktail of factors that makes them so intoxicating to old money families. First, you see, these elite institutions are like finishing schools for the world's future leaders, ensuring they're primed and ready to navigate the corridors of power with finesse and savvy. From day one, students rub shoulders with the offspring of the world's power players. They build bonds over shared dorm rooms and cricket matches, relationships that later translate into business partnerships, political alliances, and even marriages. Consider America's Roosevelt family steeped in power and prestige. Franklin D. Roosevelt, the 32nd president, attended Groton School in Massachusetts. Known for his formidable leadership during the Great Depression and World War II, Roosevelt was shaped by Groton's rigorous academics and commitment to public service. Groton didn't just shape Roosevelt's leadership, it also molded the likes of Joseph Alsop, the influential journalist and political analyst who played a crucial role in shaping public opinion during the Cold War. At Groton, both Roosevelt and Alsop absorbed lessons in critical thinking, social responsibility and duty. These formative years at Groton equipped them with the skills, mindset and fortitude that would later define their careers in public life. As the saying goes, it's not what you know but who you know, and these schools are the ultimate training grounds for building that all-important network. Now that you've gotten an understanding of why the world's most powerful families truly have skin in the game to make these places into veritable walled-off castles of an elite education, Let's talk about exactly how these institutions remain exclusive to the core and only pursue, in their eyes, the best of the best. First up, we've got the admissions process. It's a challenging feat, akin to threading a needle. These schools aren't just hunting for academic whizzes, they're seeking well-rounded individuals. Take the multilingual requirement at, say, Institute La Rosie, reflecting its culturally astute cohort. Similarly, the Lawrenceville School looks for more than just good grades. Character and leadership potential weigh heavily in their selection process. The cost of admission? Well, it's steep. Parents of La Rosie students fork out an eye-watering $130,000 annually, a figure that even outshines Harvard's tuition. Yet for these families, it's a worthwhile investment in their child's future. Beyond cost, there's the allure of legacy. Eton College's alumni list includes a whopping 20 Prime Ministers, in addition to many royals past and present, including the next King of England, Prince William. This is undoubtedly an institution steeped in old money tradition, a lineage that's irresistibly attractive to elite families. Finally, the facilities themselves are a marvel. The Lawrenceville School's 700-acre expanse houses an observatory recording studio, and a functioning farm, while many Swiss boarding schools for the elite, such as Algion College and Gustad International School, are perched in the picturesque mountains of Switzerland, offering thrill-seeking opportunities to master the athletic pleasures of the upper crust, such as skiing, horseback riding, and tennis. So let's say you've played the social game to a T, got your funds in order, and you're ready to pick a school for your Dauphin and Dauphine. 
Let's run through seven of the most exclusive schools you'll want the little ones to make their mark in. First, pack your bags, because we're heading to the idyllic town of Wallingford, Connecticut, home to Choate Rosemary Hall. With roots tracing back to 1890, nestled within the roll call of Choate Rosemary Hall's illustrious alumni, are the Kennedys, certainly, but the legacy runs even deeper. JFK himself roamed these hallways, lessons absorbed here later guiding him to the Oval Office. The legendary corridors of Choate also shaped Paul Mellon, heir to the Mellon family fortune and philanthropist extraordinaire. His imprint on the world of art through the establishment of the National Gallery of Art can be traced back to his formative years at Choate. This comprehensive institution comes with a $63,000 price tag annually. But hey, for the chance to walk the same halls as JFK and Adlai Stevenson, it's certainly an investment to consider. Next, we hop across the pond to London, to the famed Harrow School. Situated atop Harrow on the Hill, this independent school that has been moulding the British elite since 1572. It's not just a school, it's a heritage site where history is written in the footsteps of its alumni. Picture this, Winston Churchill, pacing the very same halls as your child, honing his leadership skills that would later guide Britain through the darkest hours of the Second World War. And he's not the only one. An impressive roster of British PMs, including the likes of Robert Peel and Lord Palmerston, were groomed within these hallowed halls. Here, students aren't just educated, they're empowered, encouraged to flaunt their eloquence, to command language and wield it with skill and finesse. Our journey now takes us to the picturesque city of St. Gallen, Switzerland, where the distinguished Institute of dem Rosenberg resides. Picture snow-capped mountains, tranquil lakes, and a school campus that rivals the grandeur of a royal estate. This isn't your average school. With tuition fees soaring over the $150,000 mark annually, it's the epitome of exclusivity. Yet old money families consider it a worthwhile investment. Why, you ask? At Institute Auf dem Rosenberg, it's not just about the academics. It's about shaping well-rounded global citizens. Its alumni roster won't disappoint either. You've got the likes of El Cans of Italy, heirs to the Fiat Automobiles Empire. The school's global perspective and extensive connections make it a prime choice for old money families looking to give their heirs a distinct edge in the world. Next, our journey brings us to the City of Lights, Paris, and right into the heart of the historic Lycée Louis Le Grand. Founded in 1563, this revered public institution has been churning out the creme de la creme of French society for centuries. It's an undeniable factory of French power players. Think René Descartes, the father of modern philosophy, or even the indomitable Voltaire, whose words and ideas helped shape the Enlightenment. More recently, President Emmanuel Macron too learned the ropes of leadership within these walls. But Lycée Louis Le Grand offers more than just a stellar education. It's an incubator of success, with unique preparatory classes that prime students for the Grandes Écoles, France's most prestigious higher education institutions. And here's the piece de résistance. It's all tuition free. In the world of old money elegance, it's proof that the best things in life indeed are free. In this case, that means an education steeped in tradition and excellence, a ticket to the corridors of power and a lifetime of influence and prestige. We now traverse back across the Atlantic, landing in the idyllic town of Lawrenceville, New Jersey. Nestled within this quaint setting lies the Lawrenceville School, an illustrious American boarding school that has been an intellectual haven for the old money elite since its inception in 1810. The school's roster of former students reads like a who's who of American high society. Take the billionaire publisher and philanthropist Malcolm Forbes, for instance who honed his financial acumen within Lawrenceville's classrooms. Or consider Michael Eisner, former CEO of the Walt Disney Company, who walked these halls before leading one of the most iconic entertainment conglomerates. However, the school's appeal extends beyond its notable alumni. Lawrenceville's unique house system, fashioned after its British boarding school counterparts, weaves a tapestry of community and camaraderie. It's a sentiment that transcends the tangible, an intrinsic sense of belonging that no amount of money can procure. Now let's venture to the heart of the United Kingdom, the place where tradition and prestige intertwine, Eton College. Established in 1440 and just a stone's throw from Windsor Castle, 
Eton is not just a school, it's an institution and a launch pad for the country's future leaders. When it comes to private education in the UK, Eton stands unparalleled, its prestige echoed across the globe. Eton's alumni list is eye-watering to say the least. It's the old stomping ground for an astounding 20 British Prime Ministers, including Boris Johnson. Eton's unique election tradition sets it apart. This rigorous intellectual challenge, an annual test of the students' academic prowess, exemplifies the school's commitment to fostering exceptional minds. Now, for our cherry on top of the Swiss mountain, we find ourselves in Roll, Switzerland at the Institut La Rose, also known as the School of Kings. This elite boarding school, in operation since 1880, is as renowned for its multilingual focus as it is for its old money alumni, which include members of the Rockefeller and Rothschild dynasties. Here, the emphasis isn't just on academics. Students can indulge in a range of activities from competitive sports to music, with offerings ample enough to prepare children for the Royal Academy of Music. And the annual cost for this all-encompassing education Brace yourselves, it's a staggering $130,000. Now that's what we call old money elegance. Well folks, there you have it. A taste of the world's most exclusive schools where old money families send their children. It's a fascinating blend of tradition, prestige and yes, a healthy dose of luxury. But what do you think? If your bank account allowed it, which of these schools would you want to send your child to in order to walk the same hallowed halls as prime ministers, presidents and princes? Let's keep the conversation going in the comments below. And of course, thanks for joining on another episode of Old Money Luxury.